And one of the people Net Health is currently monitoring is Ashley Jenkins. She's the Maybank woman that was stuck in China without a passport after hers was stolen. Fox 51's Kara Rucker spoke with her today to talk about the trial she's faced both back in China and after she returned home. Ashley Jenkins often travels to other countries to teach children, but her most recent trip to China turned traumatic. It was like a horror movie in the sense of like everything was shut down. People were wearing masks. Um, basically all the food was gone. A health crisis happening overseas. I don't even know how I kept my sanity. Then things took a dark turn when she became the victim of an aggravated robbery. Had a huge black eye, my, my arms, like I still have... I still have scars on my back. Like he threw me against the wall. He knocked me out. While she was knocked out, that's when they scoured the apartment, taking everything with value by the time she woke. I had to like get myself up and try to go find him and he was already gone. Her only option was to plea for help. I would have been homeless I, with, with no passport, with no phone. I would have been, I don't know what I would have done. Honestly, it was really, really scary for me. Finding a way to Skype, just trying to research. She received funds from her home country. If I didn't have help from random strangers and have like random translators, I would still be there. With no symptoms, she was sent home, currently being monitored by local health officials. We're the boots on the ground for them. After being back in East Texas for just three days, Jenkins was seen in public, a photo capturing it going viral. The photo showing Jenkins and her friend was taken inside of this local bar, and now the conversations happening inside of this community have turned to those of concern. I think it should be mandatory that they are quarantined if they go to China or any other uh, place overseas like that. She's been out and about, which I don't think that's right. I think as soon as they bring her back, she should have went straight to the hospital. While many opinions agree the protocol in place seems unstable, it's still the system being used. Locally, we have people who are low to medium risk uh, who are self-monitoring. And Jenkins is doing just that. He just calls me and we've been in contact this whole time. I just wish that people would inform themselves and maybe not jump to conclusions. Because educating ourselves on the virus is our best weapon against it for now. Kara Rucker, Fox 51 News. Net Health says the people who are being monitored are being asked to quote limit social activity. Hopkins says it's not a requirement, but a suggested guideline. Net Health monitors each person returning from countries where the coronavirus is active. He says the cases continue to increase daily across our 35 counties.